guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Janae McClain. I create lifestyle videos centered around God. I truly believe that he cares about every area of our life. So let's get right into it. Welcome back to another monthly reset video. I'm sorry, I'm a few days late. August was super busy for my son starting school to his birthday and a birthday party. And so it was super busy. So I actually filmed this video, but I rushed it. So I was like, mm, I didn't like it at all. So I was just like, you know, I'm just gonna film it over because that video was super short and I really didn't go into detail like I normally do. And so I just want to give you guys anything. So I decided to, you know, I'm just gonna redo the video and it'll just be like a few days late into the month of September, but still, this video still will be good. And so today we're gonna be doing September monthly reset, right? So we did August, so now we're in September. We're gonna be doing September routine now. And so we're gonna jump right into it. So. Um, something that the, the Lord downloaded in me as I was beginning to look at my September, look at my August goals and then begin to plan my September goals was that people lack discipline, right? So it doesn't matter how many routine videos we watch. It doesn't matter how many times, how many journals we get, how many, um, planners we get until we understand discipline and until we start doing things and understanding that you know okay we're doing this because god wants me to do it. we're doing this to serve the lord then there's nothing that we'll be able to do if we lack discipline okay so i want to give you this verse came to mind when he gave me that the people like discipline it was hebrews 12 and 11 which says for the moment all discipline seems painful rather than pleasant but later it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it okay so in that moment, it may seem like discipline is just the hardest thing. Like, oh my gosh, I can't do it. It's hard for me to eat healthy. It's hard for me to wake up and stay in my Bible. But it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. So oftentimes the things we don't quote unquote feel like doing that we most likely should be doing. And if we begin to understand scripture and to understand that, okay, I may like discipline, but I understand the word of God, it says, if this may seem painful, but if I keep doing good, eventually it will yield the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. So if you struggle with staying on course, if you struggle with doing the things that God has called you to do, I want you to really look at Hebrews 12 and 11 and really understand that it may seem painful, you know, when you're doing something that God calls you to do, it may seem like it's not going to come to pass. It may seem like nothing's ever going to happen. So you, you start, you quit, you start, you quit, you start, you quit. You start, you quit. And you're not yielding anything because you will not continue to keep that discipline, right? Because it's too painful, so you quit. It's too much, so you quit. You feel like, oh, it's nothing that's coming to pass, so you quit. But I want to remind you to keep on pressing forward, to have that discipline, although it may seem painful, although it may seem like <sighs> nothing's going right, but understand that later it will yield a peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. So some of us, we just need to understand discipline. We need discipline, we need obedience. We need to understand that being obedient to God is so much greater than what we feel. I don't feel like doing this. You know, I don't, I don't feel like getting up to reading the word of God. I don't feel like training people, right? Oh, I don't feel like doing this. No, we are required to do this. It's not what we feel like, but it's what we're required to do. And I promise you, the more you begin to do the things that God's called you to do, the more you begin to develop discipline, the easier it is to do these things because you will build a habit, right? And so I've learned even with myself that the more I do, do it, the easier it becomes, right? And so it may seem painful in the beginning because you're doing something that you're not used to you're not used to doing. Building good habits in the beginning is going to be hard because you may be used to bad habits, but it's going to seem painful. It's going to seem like the worst thing you got for let that scripture remind you that it's not always going to be painful and it's going to bring something fruitful. So before we get into it, I want to show you that and encourage you to um, stay on the course, continue to do the things that God calls you to do, even if it feel like it's not coming to pass. It's going to happen. If God told you to do it, it's going to happen, okay? And stay on the course, okay? So before we get into it, you guys know, so before we get into it, we're going to look at the month of August and you're going to say, what didn't I do? And what did I do? And you're going to ask yourself, is this really what God wants me to do? Or is it something that I put myself into? Or is God, did God tell me to do this and I lacked discipline and I didn't get it done because of disobedience and I didn't do it because I was being hard headed. And so you want to take those things in August that you did not get done in August for into September, especially if those are the things that God has told you to do. 
Now, if it's something that you put out for August and you know that God didn't tell you to do it, of course, you want to take that off and dragging it to the month of September. So for August, I know one thing that I wanted to do was eat healthy and I did do that. I can do a lot better, but I did make some steps towards that. I know one thing that I said, pray out loud daily and I did do that. So I'm taking that over a lot of things. I just drag it over to the month of September. Um, I put workout three to four times a week. I didn't necessarily work out three to four times every single week. But again, it goes back to the discipline. It may seem painful, so I'm going to remember that on the days where I say, hey, I do not feel like working out. I'm going to remember that, no, I need to work out, right? It's good for my body. It's, it's good for everything. It's good for my body, right? It's good for my muscles. It's good. I need to work out. So I'm going to bring that over to the month of September, okay? And see, so, you know, I'm going to go down. Financial goals. Did I, did I stick to my budget? Yes, I pretty much stuck to my budget in the month of August. And so I'm going to bring that back over to the month of September business, um, working on my website, finishing my website now. They just sent me the draft of it. It looks really, really great. So I'm finishing that up. So I'm just looking at the month of August. And then as I look at the month of August, whatever I don't check off my list, I'm going to write it down on a separate sheet of paper. So you always want to do like a brain dump of things that you did not get done in August and you want to make sure like, hey, is this from God or is this what my flesh wanted to do at that moment because I felt like it was good. And so those things that you know were not from God that you want to do on your own, they're getting done, scratch those out. But those things that you know are from God, those things that you're kind of not sure about, bring them over to the month of September because sometimes it may be from God and you just may not know. So those things you kind of flip through about, bring them over to September. Now, if you know for sure you put that on your agenda and you know that was not from God, don't bring those over to the month of September. Because if you bring those over that you think are from God from September, you will begin to weed those out September when you see it's just not working or God will begin to speak to you and say, okay, yes, it's working, but you know, da, da, da. so those things for sure you know are from God. Sometimes it's, it may seem like the timing is off or it may seem like, what's going on, but we have to go and do God's timing, right? So we have to make sure that we are in the timing of God. And there are some things, y'all, that we are delaying because of our disobedience because we don't have discipline, right? So Hebrews 12 and 11, we're going to have discipline for the month of September and the rest of the year and all our life. And we're going to practice discipline this month, discipline, 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 getting things done, getting things done, not letting us lack nothing. So we're going to have discipline and we're going to get things done. Okay, so we're going to start off with personal. So we have our four categories, personal, wellness, financial, and business. So what you're going to do after you get done writing your personal, wellness, and financial, and business down, and you can pull now these goals you're pulling from your yearly goals. If you haven't wrote down a yearly goal, that's okay. You can go month to month, but I just prefer to write something in January and then I pull my monthly goals for my January and then whatever God may download in me for me to do, I put it on there. So after I put everything down in my brain dump form, personal wellness and financial business, I go ahead and put everything on a monthly spread calendar. You can put it on a monthly spread calendar like this or just a regular planner calendar and go from there. Or a lot of people like to bullet journal, so they don't tip, they don't use a planner. They just take everything and write it out on a sheet of paper, like on journal style, and they bullet it by each day. So they may say tomorrow, they may put tomorrow's date, September 10th. And then on September 10th, they're gonna bullet three top priorities that they need to get done off of their monthly slide. Okay, so I want to show y'all that really quickly. So for personal, this is your, if you're married, your family, uh, your kids. Uh, if you're not married, it's still your family, your time with God, anything, any God goals, anything like that. So for me, I know early mornings with God, praying out loud, spending time with my husband, planning uh, fun activities for our kids. So our personal, we're going to put all our personal things with God, all our things with our family, and we're going to put it in the personal goals. In our wellness, we're going to have all our wellness goals. For for me, one of the things that I have is work out three to four times a week in e health, and I have more there. And so moving on to financial, sticking to our budget. And one goal that we want to stick to in the month of September is our food budget. We looked at our finances and we noticed that a lot of our stuff comes from food. And I'm sure that's most of you guys, because sometimes getting something, grabbing something or anything is just much easier. But we do want to stick to our budget in the month of September when it comes to 
not all because we do good with our other budget but it was the food budget that was really getting us so we're going to stick to our food budget for the month of september so i have that down for the month of september stick to food budget i'm making sure i'm getting that down and then i'm going to put the rest of my financial goals down there and then business everything down there and then creating better habits oh yes guys so i have a freebie for you guys i created a habit tracker for you guys and i created two forms so the top form is just some of the things that i do and then some extras that i add and the second form is a way that you can print that out and put your own goals and habits you want to do right so it's free it's in the link of the bio below please get your free copy and print it out and start writing out your goals start writing out what you want to do so we can create better habits and it's also going to help with your discipline as well so this is going to help with the discipline that we just spoke about in hebrews 12 and 11 and so this is going to help out a lot so get your free habit tracker link in the bio sorry not link in the bio link down below in the description area so for business i know some things that i want to do in this month of september my website should be completely done after i look through the drafts and everything like that so everything should be completely done with that and then one thing that i've been using guys to help out with i'm going back to financial one thing that i've been using to help out with my financial goals is a budget planner this has really been helping us out a lot and i like it because it just shows it has a monthly part and then it has a bi-monthly part so for people like myself who get paid bi-weekly it has a it has a spot for that and it also has a spot for your bills it has spots for sinking funds saving cash envelopes and so i still been using the the online version of entering in my finances but i've also added this easy cash envelope planner it has helped out a lot because i am a visual person and although the computer is visual and i love that as well but me writing it down daily and just seeing what i'm spending daily and then looking at this bi-weekly and seeing and making sure that i'm sticking to my budget has really helped me a lot so if you struggle in the budget area or if you struggle or if you need something more than just what's on the computer and i will link that above as well so you can see that so you can have that if you struggle with entering your finances on the computer to look at that spreadsheet i highly recommend getting some type of journal you don't have to get this one you actually can also print out a freebie online some you can type in free budget planners or free printouts for a budget for budgeting online on google and a lot of things should pop up but i've been using this easy cash budget planner that's been really good and very helpful so this has really been helping us a lot in our finances and just being able to write down the expenses and then doing the we haven't got to the cash stuffing yet but i can say i remember when we stayed in phoenix and i did the cash stuffing for about a week and it worked really well i don't know why we stopped i think we just got busy but that's no excuse so i want to definitely go back to the cash stuffing because it kind of just shows me what i have for that week for the following week and for the next week so i do want to go back to the cash stuffing for sure that's something that i definitely want to go back to getting cash envelopes and again that's something you can get on free online you can uh, print out a template for cash envelopes and stuff your cash that way with wellness another thing that you can do with wellness is kroger.com y'all know i love kroger.com it's going to save you time and it's going to save you money right because what's happening is you are putting your grocery list online and they're picking it for you and a lot of times it's free they don't charge you a fee i think the fee is normally like four dollars but since covid and everything they just really skipped that fee and they have been allowing you to online shop for free and you pick it up because if you're in a grocery store I don't know sometimes when I'm in a grocery store and I see something new that I might benefit from, like whether it's a new um, kombucha or whether it's a new like type of drink or like uh, I like I've been drinking a lot of drinks that has no sugar in it. So if I see like a new candy that have, may have like three grams of sugar or whatever, if I see something new, I may tend to grab it. And so to stay away from that during my grocery list weeks, I just online shop. Okay. Um, when I do go in the grocery store and I do have some extra funds from our weekly budget, I will grab extra or grab what is needed. But I do go to Kroger.com for the most part. And then I go in the store probably once or twice a week. And I go into like some a smaller grocery store so that I can get extra. So whether it's fruit, whatever that is, I go in the store and I get that for that week. So, and I go into smaller grocery stores so I don't have no problems, have no issues. And that's how I do my 
like we're on this journey and so working out eating good so some primary things that i'm going to focus on for september are of course my relationship with god is always number one um and working out and eating healthy and sticking to our food budget okay so I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I hope you guys learned something from it. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I, I do believe God cares about every area of our life and he wants us to thrive in every single area. So peace.